your kite is pulling on one side and you're not sure why. Or your kite is simply backstalling and you want to know how to adjust your bar lines. My name is Peter Pavlovich, I love sharing my kite surf experience with you. And in this episode we will see what can be the reason of your kite pulling on one side and how to adjust your bar lines efficiently. When you buy a brand new bar, the lines are most probably all symmetrical. For the bar lines of any kite brand, it is normal that after some days, weeks, months, the lines are not symmetrical anymore. Simply because the lines might stretch or most often shrink. If your bar lines are all symmetrical, make sure to check the lines on your kite. Simply fold the kite and put the lines together to see if the lines are equal. Until now I never saw the kite lines shrink or stretch, but I saw kite lines damaged or having knots. If everything looks fine with the bar lines and the kite lines, there can be a problem in manufacturing of the kite, which is difficult to spot by the eye. I experienced this with some quality brands just a couple of years ago. In this case it's important to film yourself checking the bar and kite lines, film the symmetry check on the beach and send all the videos to the kite brand or to your dealer and hopefully they react with sending you a brand new kite. Connect one safety leash around a stable fixed point. It will help you for connecting the bar lines. If you have just head loops in the end of the lines, it will be easy to connect them on the leash. But if you have pigtails as well, then there are different options on how to connect them. First make sure that the extension lines are the same length. Pass the leash connector under the pigtails. Add a small piece of rope on the safety leash and use it like a loop to tight both pigtails. But the best would be to have two extra pigtails and two loops extensions, so you can connect your lines exactly like it is on your kite. Unroll and untwist the lines, making sure there are no knots on the lines. If this is the case, make sure to check on my Patreon the best way of untwisting super tight knots. Connect first just the front lines, take the splitter of the front lines and gently put tension on the lines. They should be hanging symmetrically. If you see that one is longer, there are options to readjust them. First you can try to wrap a shortened front line around the hook of your harness and pull it aggressively so you can maybe stretch it in the same length as the other front line. Note, do not connect your lines on the hook of your safety leash. While aggressively stretching the lines, the hook might get deformed. If stretching the lines doesn't help, you might check where to make a knot on the longer line so you make it shorter. Never do the knot on the thin line as it would easily break the line after a while. If possible you want to make a knot on the extension pigtail or loop. Or under the splitter. If there is a tiny difference in length, you may loop the line around the extension line. If you don't have much options left, then you should look for an extension line to add it on the shorter line. Once the front lines are equal, disconnect the front lines from the leash and connect just the back lines on it. Take the bar and pull the bar towards your legs. Check if the bar is parallel. Turn it for a couple of times to spot if there is any difference in the length of the lines. If you feel like one line is shorter, you can try to stretch it just with pulling aggressively one side of the bar.
If this doesn't work, check if your bar has hidden knots that you could easily change. Or find where you could make a knot to shorten the longer line. Last option is to add an extension line on the shorter line, preferably in the bar. If it is not possible to put an extension line in the bar, then put it on top of the lines, loop or pigtail. Now connect all four lines, the trim line on full power. With two fingers or with the harness, put slight tension on the chicken loop. Then pull the bar towards the chicken loop. The rule is that the bar is well trimmed with max two fingers apart from the chicken loop and the bar. If the bar is completely on the chicken loop, there should be still a nice tension on the back lines. If there is no tension on the back lines, again try to figure out what knots to make in order to extend or shorten the lines. If the back lines are too short, which I experienced many times on the school bars, after months of not using them, the back lines may shrink a lot. Simply try to stretch them by pulling aggressively on both sides of the bar, making sure that the lines are finally symmetrical. If this is not enough, again search for the option of extending the back lines or shortening the front lines. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.